Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this fifth Saturday, which means uh, Gene Smith and Dave Gabbert are in, not in the studio, but they're co-hosts online, Dave in, uh, in Lexington, Tennessee, and Gene... Uh, uh, getting ready to go to Hardy's and then with his buddies and meet out at Shelby Forest. And uh, good morning to you guys. How you doing, Dave? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Gene. Thank yeah. you. And, th- and this next guy uh, really needs no introduction on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, uh, I was happy uh, kind of there to the ground breaking. It just doesn't seem possible. Uh, second generation uh, cotton soybean farmer. Uh, been to his church many times for wild game dinners. One of the best feet and faces I've ever been, and he's a good friend, and uh, and he's doing something right now, folks, that there's still time to do. Rabbit hunting season does not close until the end of the month, and if you're looking for a place to go hunt, and you want to hunt rabbits, and you hadn't done it since a kid, or you've never done it before, I suggest you get in touch with this man that's coming up right now, and that's Billy Montague out of Somerville, Tennessee. Good morning, Billy. Good morning, young man. Hey, I appreciate man. you having me. What an honor again. Well, it's always good to have you, Billy. And 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 some folks have asked me, and Dave, you Dave was asking me about that too. So, what do people need, Billy, if they want to go hunt with you? I mean, what what kind of shotgun do you recommend for a a rabbit hunt trip with you? My suggestion is a. Uh, 20 or 12 gauge shotgun. Okay. Uh, I always like a 28 inch modified barrel. Okay. All right. There's, there's two type of rabbits we hunt. There's a cottontail rabbit uh, or hillbilly rabbit, weigh about a pound. I suggest a long breath, seven and a half shot. That's it. Okay. As a as the winter goes on, the fur gets heavier and thicker, so it takes a little bit more to get them down. Okay. But on then there you have these rabbits that lives in the bottom. They call swamp rabbits or cane cutters. They're bigger. They weigh about five pounds on average. I suggest five or six shots heavy load shell for them. And I'm su- I'm days. assuming uh, I know both of these guys that have Dave and Gene and both uh, uh, know your reputation and, and and Billy. I know how many years now is this that you've uh, had your guide service. It's been going on. This will be my twenty-third year, young man. Twenty-third year, okay. Twenty-third year. So, what does a ex, express to a listener out there that would like to maybe go on a rabbit hunt? So, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you tell them? What do they need to bring? Uh, just walk us through what the experience is. Uh, what time you normally meet? How many? What? How long do you shoot? Tell them. Tell them what what goes on during one of your rabbit hunts. What I I really appreciate everybody calling me up and going on a rabbit hunt. It's a privilege for my boys and girls now who are my dogs and myself to take people out and try to put a smile on their faces. Majority of people have gone with their granddaddy uh, many years ago and they hadn't hunted several years. Yeah. The, the new ones. The old group of people that hunts with me every year, uh, they've been doing it for a lot of them 20, 23 years. And what we do is, if people have land, we'll come on their places within two and two and a half hour drive. Uh, this week we have been in Harrisburg, Arkansas, with a bunch of doctors, and uh, it's a privilege to get to go hunting with everybody. Or well, they'll come to my place. We usually start about nine o'clock in the morning, go about three. It's a hundred dollar per gun, minimum of three people on their land somewhere in Tennessee, Arkansas, and Mississippi, and 150 on my land, uh, minimum of three people that they feel comfortable with. I don't group anybody up. And uh, we, once again, furnish the dolls, the lunches, dress the game, take pictures, and uh, show everybody a great time. You know, run about 3.30 in the afternoon. And you uh, you supply lunch, uh is it still what it's always been for lunch? Yes, sir. It's still a good old bologna and ham and cheese and crackers. <laughs> you and can't beat bologna bread. outdoors. There you go, Gene. Yeah, that's uh, to me that that tips on 
Billy's uh, service there, folks, is this is not your everyday bologna sandwich either. Let me tell you. I mean, uh, if you take time to, uh, and you spend that much time. So how many dogs you got, Billy? We have a total of 23 dogs. We run 12 to 15 per hunt. Okay. This year we are always have these old dogs, which is great. They do a real good job. But I have puppies coming on every year, and this year I have five puppies I'm training. Uh-huh. And that uh, takes a lot of patience, a lot of <laughs> everything, because they, uh, they like everything but a rabbit. Yes, they do. But it takes, yeah. it takes between two and three years to train a dog. It does. Uh, to really and, be good. And you know all their voices, too, don't you? Yes, sir. I know Jack and Joe and Susie and all them. Uh, every time one bark, I tell you, that's Tiny. That's my wife's dog's name, and she always tells me to bring Tiny back home. <laughs> uh, but uh, I know all the voices, uh, just like you know Mr. Gene and different ones that sit in a different room. Yeah. All you have to do is hear their voice and don't have to see the face, uh-huh. and I'm lucky enough to know the voices. But uh, people rename yeah. them piranhas because uh-huh. they will. <laughs> when they catch a rabbit, you shoot. If you don't get him fast, the dogs will eat him. They will. And again, we're, we're talking. Yeah, hunt, hunting the rabbits is a hair raising experience. It's a hair raising experience. Gene, you're too much, Gene. Uh, again, we're talking to Millie, Billy Montague, uh, Billy's uh, Beagle Chase Guide Service out of Somerville, Tennessee, a second generation cotton soybean farmer uh, who lives on his homeland right there. And I guess that motto, Billy, is still there. Man, this is fun. Uh, yes, sir. And, yes, sir. That's on the back of my cap. I'll give everybody a new cap. Uh, yeah, all right. That's with me and everything. Is, that's my motto still on my cap. Man, this is fun. And, and and to do this now, so, folks, I'm just telling you, the experience is there. Uh, you need to get in touch with Billy Montague. Now, you can go to lroutdoors.com, which many of you have, and you'll see right there on the home page the link and everything, uh, to information, but so tell them how they can get in touch with you, Billy. They can call me at 901-465-3852. That's my home. Or my cell is 901-626-5822. And it would be an honor to take you. It is. I'm looking forward to taking you and your group the 15th That's right. The 15th. I've already told the folks we're going to be out there on the 15th, honey, with, uh, with Billy. And, and Billy... Why do you do it? What's what's the thrill that Billy Montague gets out of this? I know, man, you got a full job as a farmer. You're you're on that tractor. You're doing all that stuff. Uh, why why this? What makes what makes this keep you going? What makes me keep going is it's beautiful watching my little dogs work. Yeah, but Amen. it's more beautiful more beautiful to take people out that never hunted or I just get to go one time a year yeah. and watch them shoot a rabbit. And we was fortunate to take a group of guys from Nashville the other day. And they, they were super great guys. They'd been in, they in their twenties or up to 60. Uh-huh. And one guy shot his first rabbit and he first was smiling. Rabbit. Yeah. He was smiling from ear to ear, running over here to get in the right spot to shoot and dog barks back around. Yeah. And you would have thought he killed an eight-point buck. That's it. And, yeah. And and after a hunt, I always call people, congratulate them, and, and enjoyed being with people. Yeah. And, and he said, Billy, he said, this is the most fun I have had. He said, I play golf, I catch fish, I do this. But he said, the excitement of your dogs, and here goes raise up on my back, watching yeah. those dogs running through the woods, and here comes the yeah, rabbit yeah. 40, 50 yards in front of the dogs. And he said, it's beautiful, and I don't take it for granted because I'm glad I've got good enough health to do it. And after all this season, I always go to the doctor and get my physical and, yeah. and <laughs> knocking on wood. I'll be 65 this year. Ooh, and okay. I, I feel like most time Bless I'm 45. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's just been it's, it's great for us. And my wife's a great supporter. Teresa's a great supporter, buddy. We both uh, know that. And uh, But at the same time, Billy, I know how much you uh, – Enjoying it. Has it been a good year? Are are, are you seeing more rabbits this year, or can you tell? Uh, uh, has, has, are, are they out there, or is it? Because uh, this is something that really we keep track of deer, we track ducks, everything else. Has it been a good rabbit year? It's been a real good rabbit year. Uh, it's 
you'll see rabbits every time you go out, heels or bottom. Yes. Uh, and you'll see rabbits every time, and it's really been a good year. Uh, it's, it's just fantastic. God put the, the animal out yeah. there for us to enjoy, yes. and it's just been a, a wonderful, wonderful year. It really, really has. And and I, I know that uh, the experience itself and things along that line, folks, again, you, you, you got time. The season goes, what, fe- Billy, uh, February 28th, the last day of the fe- of the month. So uh, everything else is, you still got small game. You'll have to, he'll have to know all of those different things. And just hook, hook up with Billy because uh, it's just a fun thing. And to see Billy uh, and his dogs, and actually he does know their voices. I'm just amazed. Uh, and, you know, and, and what number of stick are you on, Billy? Number four. He's on number, number four. stick four because those those rabbits have a tendency to go. Uh, they've got, where do those rabbits usually go to ho- uh, to fight to hide? They <laughs> swamp rabbits will go inside of trees, the bottom of trees. And uh, we was fortunate enough to be in a bottom in Brownsville, Tennessee, several years ago. It was eight hunters. One gentleman. He wanted to number nine. He wanted to shoot, stand up, uh, sit in a deer stand. Yeah. He said, if big deer come by, it's okay. I shoot it as long as it's not toward y'all. I said, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and what I found out, I learned a lot of lessons and still learning. And while he was up there, dog was running a rabbit and brought it back around. A man whistled like a hawk. Yeah. When the rabbit got within shotgun range, the rabbit will be 30 to 50 yards from a dog on the way back. So when the rabbit was on the way back, the man whistled like a hawk, and he shot. And boom, he said, I got him in the head. Man, man's name is Mr. Ed Cathy. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he shot him, and I said, what are you doing? He said, any time a rabbit uh, running through the woods on the way back, not going, but on the way back, yeah. you wait till shotgun range, don't just be real still. You whistle like a hawk. He's going to rear up and look and see where it came from. And, so and this- he said, that's where I like to shoot my rabbits. And he did three of them that, that way. That's My a true goodness. story that day. That's but the neat. man in the deer stand called his brother and said, listen, the dog's running a rabbit. But two of them went inside of a tree pretty close to me. I can show you the trees. And what I learned about that lesson was when the dog's out there running a rabbit and people talk and everything, other rabbits are getting up. They are. And they are moving on. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so we went over there, and I was fortunate to get the two rabbits out of those trees, and we had three rabbits on the spot right then. And that was pretty neat. Well, Billy, you're pretty neat too, buddy. We appreciate you being on with us this morning. So, again, tell them how they get in touch with you, Billy, one more time. Uh, please call me at 901-626-5822. It would be a privilege to take any and everybody hunting. He's and ready. Thank you very much for having me on the show. It's uh-huh. an honor and privilege. All right, Billy. We'll see you on February the 15th, okay, buddy? Can't wait, my friend. All see right. you. Y'all okay. be careful. Thank you. Let's take a break Bye-bye. on Outdoors with Larry Raby. Right back. <laughs> 